Oh, she bought the stabby thing. The body thing. Stabby. Oh, stabby. Yeah, you opened Janine's letter with it. Stabby. Yeah, God almighty. Yes. That thing. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Hey, you want me to read the, yeah, the dark? Yeah, Kirtlene's. You can read that. You can put your glasses on. It'll be fine. Kirtlene's um, article is in the newspaper. It was in the newspaper. It he was. did print it. I thought he wasn't going to print it because he didn't like it. May I hand up the, the picture? Sure. So we all know who we're talking about. There he is, Mr. Larky, doing his thing. That's the damnedest camera. At any rate, okay. So what I put in the paper with canines, the nose really does know and can diagnose illness sometimes. The plot thickens. Larky is telling us something as yet to be verified. We went to an assisted living place in Danvers, entered the low floor, pushed the elevator, put the, put, pushed the button for the elevator, and the very slow elevator appeared. Sizzle, who's Larky's mother, went straight for the elevator door and stood there, all businesslike. She knows that a small room will appear, everybody will crowd in, and the door will shut, and then it'll jiggle around, and we'll end up being somebody else. It's like magic. As far as the colorful larky was concerned, because these were there were no other animals in the building, I had removed his collar and leash so he could work the crowd carefully, saying good morning to each of the dozen or so people that had got gathered. And then he came to Deborah and the resident care director he shoved his nose toward her armpit and very clearly said, Hey, Carlene, here's another one. Was that funny? <laughs> I thought that was funny. It was. Half it's very, of, very larky. It's very larky. <laughs> Half embarrassed, I went over to the woman he had attacked with his nose, and she was smiling and seemed pleasant, so I blurted out, Are you a diabetic? And she laughed and said, yes, she was. And she had just tested her blood sugar, and it was high at 247. Okay, this is getting serious. Now, not everyone in the world is going to react pleasantly to, my dog thinks your armpit smells funny. But she was very pleasant. I think it was my friend Elizabeth, who had just been diagnosed with diabetes, that made me start thinking along those lines. Up to that point, I had no idea what Larky's problem was, so I missed many of his diagnoses along the way. But let's take a look at the ones his armpit score at the moment, including Elizabeth, who remembers Larky flipping her elbow around one day long ago at Mayor Call. Did you say that happened long ago? He time? did. I don't, yes. It was way when it first started, and he remember he, you kept saying to him, "Tell him to stop doing that. Don't encourage him." And he would flip my elbow up. And he kept doing it, and I'd be like, "Get off! <laughs> Get off!" <laughs> oh. So anyway, now we know why he's doing that. A parent at Masco High School, who happened to mention that they had just been really, really diagnosed. A woman in the Ipswich Elder Services Office. A man at the Wakefield Robert Dutton Adult Care Center. He was a known diabetic and a staff member at Dutton. Said, I am too, as Larky paid both of them. A truck driver in Dunkin' Donuts just plain thought I was crazy. That was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very pro it's, a peculiar, it's a peculiar problem I have here. Mm. At any rate, um, the ten-year-old child at the Danvers NEC, whose blood sugar status was unknown at that moment, and was not a known diabetic. Now the dilemma is to tell him or not to tell him. And now we have Debbie with a diabetic whose blood sugar was 247. Why more people are not identified as diabetic? What is the national average? Did the newly diagnosed people have higher scores than normal? Is that what he was here feel, smelling? 
My dilemma now is this. If I was a parent of that child, would I want to know the possibility of diabetes? But how do I, as a director of the daycare center, write to the parent and let them know that Larky knows something they don't? <laughs> it's a peculiar problem. It's a very peculiar problem. Because we don't know what Larky is actually telling us. We think we know now. Yeah, but he's, he's quite consistent. He is. Since I wrote that letter, mm. whatever it is, um, he pulled somebody out of the crowd in the lay at the Leahy hospital the other day. Uh -huh. Oh dear! There's a crowd of people sort of standing for the elevator, uh -huh. and he went right over and shoved his nose right in. <laughs> and she said, "Oh my!" And I, went, <laughs> I said, "You're going to think I'm very strange, but are you a diabetic?" She said, "Yes, I'm going to be tested." <laughs> you know, I said, "Well, he just confirmed it." Yeah, and your and your what? Glickle's level was high. It's probably high, <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. It's funny. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, with the cost of medical care, you're right. a winner. The dog's a Exactly. <laughs> well, but if we could get him precise into a sort of range, you know, wag your tail once and it's this range, that, you know, oh, we, you could make a killing. I could. <laughs> He's a good I boy. I think he only is identifying people whose blood sugar is basically out of control, they're not diagnosed yet. Yeah, exactly, when it's erratic. A lot of people don't know it. No. For a couple of people have said, yes, I know I'm too high, I should have taken my pills or something. Yes. No, but he definitely used to fiddle with my elbow all the time. And remember I said, do you think it's deodorant? There's a I specific... Remember, but I, I yeah. believe it now. No. <laughs> yeah, I, was... I believe it now. Yeah, well. There's, okay. There's, um, there's... What are we going to do now? I don't know. What day is it? Wednesday? You were out all day. Was I? Oh, we've got mail. Actually. I was out cold too. I, I took a nap. Wow. Yeah. We went, yes, we went to the... We went to Woburn. Yes, you did. And you had to do your shot at eight. I had to do my shot at eight, go to Woburn, mm -hmm. to that very lovely place. Mm -hmm. Owned by Bill Cummings. Mm -hmm. And uh, be back for blood at noon. Did and you get I, lunch, though, more importantly? No. When oh. I came back after all, she cooked me a hamburger. Ooh, nice. It was very nice. And have you got more medication to pick up? No, I'm off it for a few days. All oh, right, that's good. And they're being very specific. I, I'm to... I'm to do it. Try it. Try to be on the, on the 7 o'clock morning S and night. Is it not 6? Well, that was 7. Oh, is it now? <laughs> Good to know. It's 12 by 12, you know, 12. <laughs> and then they're going to try the finger prick deal. Oh, right. That, that sounds good. Well, that sounds good because if we can get the finger prick deal and I can have that little machine. You can travel. I don't have to travel to the... Yeah, but you can travel to Janine's. Oh? Huh? You can travel to Aiken. Oh, I could probably, yeah. Yeah. Do you know... My daughter is... But she'll be here. Why would I want to go to Aiken if she's here? Oh, I thought you did opposite states. <laughs> <laughs> well, my daughter has applied for a summer course in uh, Savannah, Art and Design, obviously in Savannah, Georgia, over the summer. Really? Uh-huh. And, uh, and I said, if there's still something kicking around in Aiken, I said, I'd fly down with you and uh, go to Aiken and yeah. then um, pick you up. Supposedly, Janine's not going to be there in the summer. You know what? No, we don't know anything. We haven't got her back yet. <laughs> so we'll ah. not pre we will not presume anything at this precise moment in time. It's bad. We'll just keep, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> and okay. uh, so that would be a nice wee trip, Savannah. Yeah. I've never been to Savannah. Oh, good for you. Might be a bit hot though in June. Actually, it will be really hot in June. Speaking of hot, look. Oh, yes. yes. I bought her a present. Hold on, we need to do that phone thing. Where's that purple phone? The purple phone? Where did we put the purple phone? You know, for the questions. iPhone. Oh, it's over there. What are we trying to do? The purple phone, not the red one. Oh, this one? Yes, please. That one? Yes, thank you. 
better do this before I forget and get into trouble. Oh my oh. golly gosh. Uh, hold on. Oh my golly. Where am I? This takes me a wee while. Oh! Facebook, there it is. Hang on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So, talking of hot weather, doesn't Italy, but, well, I think everybody else loves hot weather bar me, eh? Look! This is very exciting. So, it's an Arctic air. Arctic air, yep. I got it off Amazon. <laughs> so it's got a beautiful breeze and a water reservoir in the back. And it kind of like very gently spits, spits a little bit of water at you. Yeah. So we're going to test it. And, um, does it feel good? It does feel good. It feels actually very nice. I might not get anything done. I might be standing there going, yep, this is better. <laughs> So, and it's got three different, it's got three different levels, and you know what, I think that one of the things that's supposed to cool you down is your wrists, because the, the skin is so thin, and the blood's close to the surface. Well, you worry about that. I worry about that. So, uh, yeah, I like it in my face. Yeah, I think it's, yes. So that's a good thing, and it's just a, a it's a, it's really nice. So this is very exciting, and it, look, it lights up, you'll see me coming. It'll be like, there she goes. <laughs> and it's got different speed levels. But let's face it, I'll always have it on high, won't I? Probably, yeah. yeah. More than likely. So thank you very much. So that's You're super. Now we just a need new to, toy. Uh, do want, now we just need to make sure we don't lose it before it gets really, really hot. And then there will be tears. Oh, we haven't done the mail. Look. Okay. Look me gassing away. Right, okay. Do you want the farm family people first? Who? Farm family. Oh. They did pay me for the for getting the building destroyed. Yes, but you need to remember to get the um what's it called? The co payment back. The, that, the co payment was a thousand dollars. I know, how do I get that back? Well you need to ask for it. Why do I get where do I get that from? Well, they destroyed it. We didn't destroy it. I know. I know, that certainly is true. Well, that will be the next thing we ask for then. Yeah. So it's not a check. <laughs> oh! That's a piece of black paper. And another piece of black paper. I'm doing well so far. Yes. And another piece of blank paper. Thank you for presenting your claim to us. What? I understand you no longer choose to pursue your claim for damages because you have no claim damage. Your claim has been closed without payment at this time. They paid me $1,500 already. Right. Interesting. But hey. Ugh. Oh, that goes in the duty pile. I, I don't understand that one at all. That'll be the duty pile. She's, sure, give she's, duty. she's very organized. She'll organize it for us. There. There's another one. Jan Gerhold. Oh, goody. She always uses this very nice bright envelopes. There's an envelope. Thank you very much. And you can have that one. Thank you very much, Jan. And the pointy. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, the worst time for having a heart attack would be God, in your sleep? No, during a game of charades. Yeah. <laughs> okay. True. <laughs> it would be problematic. Keep them. Why don't you try that one? Oh my God. Keep the momentum flowing. 
good. Thanks. All right, you're very clever. Thanks. Concentration on being a doer, not a complainer. Well, that'll be all right. Yeah, because we'd be far too busy if oh, we were complaining. Yeah, we got we have complainers. God, they really go out of their way to complain. You know what? It just breaks the monotony of all this happiness. <laughs> Here we go. Equine rescue. You can open it. <laughs> okay. It's wonderful. This one, we must have her address already. We do. We do. Oh, it's a flutterby. Oh. With the money in it. Thank you. Hi, Janine. This is for this month's donation. Thank you, Dee. Thank you very much. Do you know yeah. what? It feels like that just came in two weeks ago. That she sent, because she sent matching cards two weeks ago. I, well, it must have it's been four weeks ago. Thank you very much, Dee. You can have the Goldie's Farm one then. Oh, this is the same. Right, it is. Yeah. And Dee, we're using the orange tubs that you sent for the donkey paraphernalia, of which there is rather a lot. And uh, they go up and down the driveway. Uh, you'll see us with uh, all our brushes, halters, and um, treats. Charlene and crew. This is for Ten Penny Penny. Ten Penny Hay Bales. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. All right, okay. Well, That's you cute. know, that, that brings up a topic. Yes. Uh, we went to Woburn today, which yes. is a, it's a considerable distance. Yes. So I think this is our furthest one we go to. Uh-huh. And we're almost out of gasoline, and uh -huh. I had to stop and get gasoline. And I I didn't have a charge card of yours. I've, You've got the charge card, because I've not got it. I've not got it. You know, it's under the cash register, maybe. You didn't tell me that. Well, I don't know where. At any rate, I didn't have it with me. I normally put the, the money in the uh, no, gas only, in the I weekend. I only, I only, Oops. I only, I try and charge only one tank or two tanks a month uh -huh. to the we farm. We alternate. Alternate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I alternated today. The, okay. The, the next one's going to be on you. That's fine. Such exciting! Well, I rarely go anywhere that I'm not doing something for the dog. Or, or well, or you've got someone else driving the car for the for the farm. Right. Um, I'm not even there. Right. Well, exactly. There's that as My well. My poor car that's only a year old. I didn't realize that. Your car's got wrinkles on it. It's got miles on it. Yep, it sure has. I think it groans every morning when it sees us coming down the drive. It'll be like, oh, God, what now? So this is from Karen Myers. Karen Myers. Karen. Yes. Okay, look out. I know. Here I come. Brace yourself. I did that part. You did. And I hit that part. Da -da. Da -da. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look. Oh, look. I'll take that. Get rid of it. Oh, Nookie. Oh. Nookie, a box with a cookie. <laughs> Thank you very much. What have you got, cookies? Not unless you want worms. <laughs> We've got stacks of animals for worms. But look, cookies for going to going, going places. Going to where we went today. For frying pans. Perfect. Thank you so very much. That keeps you in motion. Yeah. Thank you. That's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Hello, Bart. Oh. oh, and good news. Elmo has a home. Elmo has a home? Elmo. Our lovely Elmo who used to be in the barn. He has a, a really lovely home where he'll be one person's horse. And, oh. um, and she doesn't want to ride. She just wants to spend time with him and take him out walking. Oh, good. Uh -huh. And as I said, he's the perfect gentleman. 
Oh, he, he really is. He's lovely. So, so that's worked Perfect out. Perfect gentlemen. They're hard to find nowadays. Yes. And I think she might actually... He technically came into us um, with the ability to write. He's sound. He's just underweight. So um, we've put a lot of weight on them. She'll continue that. Her vet's been to see him. He had his feet trimmed today with the farrier. And she's like, so what she's going to do is start working him on the ground, see if she can every now and again um, get on his back. And then, but she spends time with him, you know, in the paddock. She takes him out, out in yeah. hand walking, so it's perfect. Oh, good. How, how tall is that beast? We were actually talking about that today. He is, I think he's over 16 hands, particularly because he's got really high withers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he's actually quite, quite. Um, a big animal. Mm, yeah, he's on the the, uh, the the taller side for a standard bread. Wow. And I think as he keeps filling out, because his top line will come back up as well. Yeah. I think he'll look quite substantial. <laughs> that's one word for it. Yes, but he's lovely because he's a bay with that sort. You know the bay with that sort of red tinge through it that's yeah. really rich looking. So he's he's all beautiful and shiny and. Uh, yeah, he looks like he's he's going to be quite be a good land ornament. He is going to be the most beautiful land ornament. So that's really fortunate. And he's he's actually sharing a paddock with Carly's horse. Oh yeah. Um, so he's just down the road. Oh. Yeah. So so she says come visit any time. So I'm quite sure we'll see him. Um, but uh, it's the most wonderful home, and we're absolutely delighted because we had actually she she asked me a very pertinent question, and she said, well. If he's, if he's sanctuary care, what made you decide to allow me to adopt him? And I think the only answer you can say is, this is what you would always want. We just didn't think anyone would want a 24-year-old. <laughs> you know, standard breads can live till they're 30, 35, but our standard breads come from a, um, a racing and a driving background, at yeah. which point, you know, you know, you do sometimes consider you can start knocking sort of like a few years off. So there's not a lot of people who want um, a salad muncher, let's face it, because they cost a lot of money. He probably goes through a, a, bale, of, a bale of hay a day. He's on a, um, a build-up and an enrichment diet with lots of um, different additives, etc., which is costly. And you can't expect, you know, you know, we took him on knowing that there was a really good chance that he would end up sanctuary. So as we worked with him and slowly brought him back in, we thought, we're going to keep him. And he's lovely. He really was a gentleman. And then, you know, sometimes there's just a perfect fit. fit, And this is a perfect fit. Good. So that's very happy and very exciting. We don't want to put the phone. Speaking our, with our other perfect fit, uh, Jiminy's doing fine, I guess. Yeah. Well, he should do. And he, just, uh, he just had a very short email saying he was doing great. And I don't because she's too busy out with her dog now. Right, right. Yeah, doesn't have time to talk. That's yeah. super. Yeah. Yeah. And really lovely, actually. Yeah, right. So that means we need more puppies and horses. More puppies? I'm not in the horse department. Horses. We need more horses. Um, we have to redo this whole establishment over here. Your, your, your um, dog set up. Well, yeah. we could maybe get rid of the mattress with the hole in it. Well, they haven't got the whole mattress going yet, but it's, right. it's going. Right. There's they stuff things in it. All those things that were out, are out there are right? all stuffed in the hole. He's some boy. I know. I have no idea what that's all about, but... He takes all of the fluffies and then stuffs them in the big hole that he ate in the mattress. He's making a nest. Yeah. He thinks he's female. No. <laughs> Silly boy. Well, the two big beds, you know your two big, were they packing cases? Remember the wooden beds you had? Yeah. Right. Well, they're still in the, in the deagle with mattresses. Yeah. In case you wanted anything that was less deep. I don't know. This works so well. I know. Aside from the fact that they're eating it. Well, no, there's only one of them eating it. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, we know we know which one that is. Yes. Yes. Good girl, Sizzle. 
So yeah. the fact we can store things underneath it. Well, there's that as well. And the fact that when you wander around with no shoes on like you, you don't stub your toe on it and go, ow. That's true. It's broken. So that's not a bad thing either. True. No. I think if we just shove that down mm -hmm. and put some vinyl flooring here in the corner, yeah. that we could have a place for puppies that I can let them out if they pee on the rug. It's already, it's been pre-peed. It's been anointed already by Wanda. Wanda has given the whole thing a good going over. Well, somebody asked last night about, about uh, housebreaking and, you know, like Wanda was housebroken. I'm like, fuck, there's yeah. absolutely no ch chance that she's either housebroken or trained. Sorry, Janine, because Wanda is Wanda and where Wanda is, she does what she fancies. That's correct. Yes. But very often she goes to the bathroom right in front of the toilet. Yeah. Super smart. Yeah. It's a, there you go. You flush this. Uh, deal with this now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so we take no responsibility for Wanda's actions in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. She is popular in the. In the That's because she hasn't weed on them. <laughs> no, she hasn't. But, uh, people always ask for Wanda. I know. It's because she's small and cute and bouncy. Yep. Very bouncy. There we go. Now he's in the corner. Oi! He, I think he, what he's going to do, I think he's trying to hide the bone in the in the hole that he's dug. I tell you, you'd lose him on a beach. Really? He'd be under the ground. Dig, 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 oh, dig, yeah. dig. <laughs> Silly boy. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, he might be a good diabetic alert dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is very true. I have a feeling he's identifying like low blood sugar or high blood sugar yeah. or whatever. The glucose bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think he's identifying all of them or we would he would be identifying more of them. I think there's a higher percentage of people that are diabetic than what he is identifying. Uh -huh. So I think he's only identifying the ones that are something out of control or... Yeah. Because you were about to go for testing or yeah. you didn't know what your blood sugar was or something. I wasn't bothered about my blood sugar. I was yeah. worried about my cholesterol at that point. <laughs> Maybe he's in the cholesterol. <laughs> we'll too, I'll go. I'll go. Yes. <laughs> no, my cholesterol is super fantastic now. Is it? No. no. <laughs> I keep telling I'm positive thought. I'm like, yes, all going well. Um, did you ask Judy what that drink was? I did. Yeah, what was it? I don't know. No. Taro. Taro. Mm. I thought taro was a grain, but it's a potato. It's a potato-like thing. And there she showed me a picture of it today. It looked like a, a warped sweet potato or something. Right. So next time anyone offers you that, you know what to say. No, thank you. You say, absolutely not. That's disgusting. <laughs> I, I really didn't. She drank another one today. So, it's a thumbs up from Judy and a thumbs down from Carlene. Right. Take your pick. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, she went and got one at the, at the market while I was in the hospital, thinking I was going to take a long time. Uh -huh. But they only drew blood. Yeah, that's quite that quick. It take them two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you told your doctor the story about Larky? The who? Your doctor. I don't know. She's busy. Yeah. I told my doctor. Did you? Yeah. He giggled. Oh. Then I thought I should take Larky in and put him in the waiting room. That sort him out. Yeah. The, <laughs> oh, the people get such a kick out of it. I, know. I could easily run in and get my blood drawn with nobody. But when I take him, the whole place cheers up. Yeah, and they'll talk to him. They'll talk to him, they pat him, and they ruin his training. <laughs> yeah, he, is a, he has a super time. He, yeah. Although, when Carlene goes in to get her treatment, and as she leaves him outside in the waiting room, he stands pointed, fixated on the door until she comes back out. <laughs> well, Jimmy used to do that. Jimmy, no, he thing. does it as well. Does he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who is Bill Cummings? Who? Who? Who is Bill Cummings? Bill Cummings is an extremely wealthy man who got into real estate here in 
the Woburn area. Mm -hmm. And he's very dedicated to the local community. Mm -hmm. And he tries to keep a lot of his joined us here in the, uh, and he's done an awful lot for the community. And he at one point gave us $100,000 toward service dog project. Mm. But he didn't renew it because we weren't that local. Mm. You know, we were, we were servicing people outside of New England even. Mm. And he's really interested in Woburn. Oh, you're in Woburn? Now I'm in Woburn. So I'm trying to get up some good statistics <laughs> before I go to Mr. Cummings and say, Mr. Cummings. <laughs> He liked my dog, though. I, yeah. I, I, now you need to see whether or not he's got diabetes and say that you've also got a diabetic detection dog. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> yes. We might get banned then. <laughs> he's, a, he's a funny guy. He's, not, he's nice. Very nice normal. Man. And his wife is very normal. Yeah. But they are right up there with Bill Gates. Right. They, they really... Well, he's very generous to the community. He is very generous. And you start along that 128, and there, a lot of it is Bill Cummings, the Cummings Center. Is that in Danvers? Is that Woburn? You know, the big no, Cummings Center. The Cummings Center is in Beverly. Beverly. The old shoe factory. Yes. But go along 128, and there's lots of Cummings Centers down 128, too. Wow. I mean, he's, and then this... This daycare center is huge and lovely. Do they serve coffee? No. Oh. They didn't give me any coffee. Carly and I were very excited. You we know what they've started doing now is they, an awful lot of people are able to get on the smartphone uh -huh. the pictures of Bella and George oh. so that I can show that. Well, that's good. It is. And now I'm back to leaving it running on the Explore camera. Excellent. That's a, that's a good project in itself. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, I was going to tell you. I can't remember. It will come back to me. Maybe it won't. Probably not. <laughs> it will probably get back to me tomorrow-ish. Yeah. This forgetting the you know the older you get the more the behinder you go. <laughs> I have just bought a desk calendar that size. Oh really? Yes. Because what? I've got donkey walks ongoing, people working with donkeys. I've got Meredith. I've got vets coming. I've got farriers, and you know what? I was keeping it all in my head, reasonably reliably, and I've just given up. It's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's gonna it's gonna come crashing crashing down very um, very soon so I thought I better start writing it down mm. and then I've got all these things that the children do mm. yeah they'll go off and, but Ava can drive which is super so she very often helps out and takes Sophie mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah I know. unfortunately it's still winter so people aren't talking about coming here yet No. but very shortly they, we've invited people to come here and we're not ready yet no, I know. Stop doing that. The Wait. swing set's good. The swing set's super. That's actually... Do you know Carly, Janine and I sat there one night. Well, Janine and, well, Janine and I were having a discussion of, of who were moving things forward and planning. And we said to Carly, just come sit with us. So she sat in the middle and we were like three monkeys all sitting there going back and forward. And then I think you realise, this is actually very addictive. And you sit there and you go, oh, and the mosquitoes are biting your ankles. And you're like, this is nice. Scratch, scratch, scratch. But it is, it's very soothing. It is very soothing. Yeah, it is. And you like that chair. Which chair? The, 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 the seat. I love that. I believe the three of you could sit on it. That one out there? Um, yeah. That's enormous. I'd never get back out if I fell down into the seat of it. Did you ever know her anything about it? No. Where's the other one? Oh, no, no, no. I thought you were talking about the big wooden chair that's in the field. Oh. I'm like, just. There's a massive over. I mean, it must be what, like a okay. ten times the size of it. Is it an Adriatic? Adriatic? No, you shouldn't have said that. And oh. yeah, you don't see. I've said and, you all. Oh, you shouldn't have told me that. I could have given it to you. Adirondack. One of those. Adirondack uh, chair. Yeah. 
And it's the sort of thing, if you sat on the edge and you lifted your feet, you'd slide all the way back. All the way back, and your feet are sticking up in the air. Yeah. I, there's a picture of me doing just that. Yes. Yeah, I'll No, I'm that. talking about you in the swing set. Is that another one? It's, 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 yeah, that's, that's, yeah. So how do we put that up? Actually, it's a piece of scaffolding. Scaffold. But do we have the A-frame? No, we don't have another one. Do you know where it would be really nice? You know Pam's bit? And there's Fugan's table and chairs. You could sit and swing over the pond bit. Well, you, you know who made that for me? Who? Chip. You don't know Chip, baby. No, I don't. Chip was on my board of directors. Right. Bright, bright man. Yes. Very bright man. Um, he made that thing for me. Yeah, it's super. It's, it's, it is very, it's, and it's, it's lovely. You're right. That's what we should have. And then other swing set. Yeah. I, I bet he'd do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, it's such a nice thing. And, you know, it's really funny because, because when the the, um, the people were coming in the last summer, remember, they all gravitate towards that, don't they? Sure. I mean, they, they did. They had a great time on it. Yeah. It's not like one that you'd be going round the world on it, you know, oh. going right away and over the top. But it, it's just, it's such a lovely thing. Yeah, it, it, they were supposed to sit there and watch the puppies. And the plants yeah, they could sit there and watch the duck. We've watch got one duck. duck. We've got one duck. We had two ducks. We have one. We don't want to know what happened to duck no. two. No. No, I don't, actually. We've got a problem with duck two. Well, I don't know because it's the mallard we've got. And I don't know if maybe there's eggs on a nest somewhere. Could be. And he's just puttering about. But somebody did say they saw a snapping turtle, which is not I've, cool. Yeah, I've, I've tried. And it sounded like this was the way to get them, is, is an empty Clorox, uh, empty mm -hmm. plastic bottle um, with a string hanging with a hook on it. And you're supposed to be able to catch the turtle. And did you catch any? No. No. Well, I mean, maybe I just didn't have the right... I didn't give it the old college try. <laughs> I just sort of put it out there and said, here, have at it, you know. And that just wasn't quite enough. Oh, dear. I think we'll actually have to dredge that pond. What? Dredge it. Why? Because it's full of leaves and branches and everything in the bottom, and I think it's beginning to clog the overflow. Cape Claude, the overflow. The overflow is a pipe. I know, but it's got just about everything in it. Oh, then push it out. Yeah. You could put a child through it and pull them back and forward with their legs. No, that's really no joke. Yeah, the, Have the people the done suction, that? No, the suction oh, no, in that pipe, you could not get your arm out. I really, I got all... What, the, the big yeah. black one? Not the, not, wee, not the wee one, the big black one. There is no big black one this size. I know one. There's a big black one down there. There's, no. this, and there's a small white it's one. Not, there's a black one like that big. No, it's a bit bigger than that. Oh, I'd almost bet with you. Oh, I don't but know. But I put it in there. The, one, one, the thing that, that, that governs the, the depth of the pond is the, is the pipe that goes down and around and out. And is that the white one? That's white. Right, okay. That's that's normal PVC piping. So I think the black one has the black one emerged missing. out and it's sitting proud. Yeah, that's because it's not... When we have an awful lot of rain, then the more, and, and that's the overflow pipe. Okay. I think you need to get in your golf cart and come and have a look. Probably. We might need to do a bit of um, jiggery-pokery and get it back into full, full functioning order. Well... It's full functioning when the water comes up. Yeah, but I think that, I think, um, I think, I don't know if over time maybe the, the black pipes lifted because when it was flooding the path, if it had been lower, it would have taken the water off. That's true. It just maybe wasn't big enough. Right. You know, we do have floods down there. Yeah, I noticed. But, but most of the time that black pipe takes care of it. Yeah. The only bigger black pipe I know is a puppy toy. Yes. Oh, yes.
Princess I Love You Lots is actually a lawn ornament at the moment. I'll tell you. The black one. The big black one. The one that fl flutters her eyelashes at anybody walking by. Oh, dear. Don't be deceived. <laughs> she's a monkey. She's, a, she's actually a lovely horse. And in fact, I was on Meredith this morning and she came, she came up the paddock at speed. Now, you know that horse doesn't move herself ever. Well, she's a big horse. She's a big horse and she's very slow. And she was looking very energetic this morning and I thought, oh, spring is here. And, um, and uh, Corey said to me, actually, they'd been out walking their dogs and they'd got down to, you know where the rocks are down at the bottom? And there was a coyote there. Oh. And I think she was probably like self-preservation. She came flying up and left all the sheep at the other end of the paddock. <laughs> They're like, Kyle, take them, take them. <laughs> so, uh, so I think that's that's maybe what was making her move this morning. Oh dear. Hmm. Larky and Sizzle, you wouldn't know there was any change really. Do you see a difference? What? With Jiminy not being here? No, not really. No. No. I miss him. Oh, Elena and Jiminy are there. Hello. Hi, Jiminy. I was going to say, hello, we love, but then Elena might get offended. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, she doesn't know that he can go and get a basket. Now well, you've told her. Yeah. Yeah, he loves it. You've got to find the right basket that he knows how to pick up. Could go shopping. Yeah. Could be handy. I had a bunch of baskets. I in haven't my, seen. I in haven't my, in my old house. Yeah, I haven't seen your baskets for a while. Oh, I was looking in the basement for something today, and I found something that is definitely not mine. And I thought, ah, that must be Carlene's. I can't remember what it was now, but I will remember. Um, yes, Elmo is the horse that wore the coat in the barn. So, that's him. Wore the coat in the barn. He wore the coat. He always had a coat on because we were. He was so skinny. We oh. wondered he was. We didn't want him to be cold. Oh, Elena says that that they're both fine, and Jiminy has been a big deal in their neighbourhood. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's lovely. Oh dear. Oh, here's Big Bud. This is his brother. Yes. What are you doing? He wanted to drink of water. Oh. That's because he was chewing that bone. We need to get that. I asked Carly to find it, but I think that's a lost cause. Um, I had some black rubber buckets. Black rubber, you know, black rubber. Has it got a flat back on the bucket? It would be nice if they did. I've got, it, it, it's like a five gallon bucket. That's, a, that's too much, but I, that's right. kind of what I'm looking for. I do have to hang it out the door of my car. So they could drink water outside of my car. Well, there is, and I don't know where this came from, because we don't have any black rubber buckets. There's a flat-backed black rubber bucket with a handle intact, I might add, um, on Meredith, and it just I'll appeared, it. and it just appeared out of the blue. I, I need it. You That's can have it thing. sold. Yeah. It's not well. In fact, I might have sold someone else's bucket. This, it, when they come back from working a job, yeah. they run for the water bucket. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah. Well, I wonder if this is one of yours, because it's definitely not ours. Yeah, it wasn't Yeah, there you go. I'll bring that round. I'm not sure they're going to like it, because I have a feeling it has a funny smell. Well, it. that's actually why I don't use it, because yeah. I would put feed in it, but it's, it's quite a strong rubbery smell. And I, I don't eat the horse, they eat the food. Uh, some of yeah. them are a bit fussy. Mm-hmm. So that, yeah. so that's why, and I never buy, I always buy, hey, hop, hop, come on, Doris, let's go, good boy. I always buy, um, is your mother, Get up there. <laughs> he's like, my mother is in the way. I always buy the, um, the smooth buckets, yeah. the plastic ones. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm pretty convinced it's not ours. Get up there. Yeah, you'd definitely be the talk of Myrtle Beach if you were walking Elvis. Yep. And you'd be in big clear-up duty, I can tell you, with Elvis. Right. Yes. No. Oh. 
Taro is what they make poi out of. Oh, poi oh, she, she out of. That too. What is that? Something else to eat. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine what they would think if we were um, taking a giant elephant into a nursing home. I'm not even sure Janine could catch that in a bucket. <laughs> oh, dear. Is she coming up this Sunday? Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, is that the sun? We talk, heard about her coming home on Sunday. Yeah, but we were talking about the previous Sunday, the previous Sunday oh. to that. The, so maybe this Sunday, but maybe not. So oh, well, we're, okay. we're not um, we're, we're not going to put any numbers on it. No. <laughs> She's like you. It doesn't like to be constrained by time or... or I was very impressed with your organization and your 3 by 5 card. Yes. You have one of those a day? Yes. I thought so. Yeah. I used to don't, have a... Don't I, ask me if I ever complete what's on the 3 by 5 card. Well, I had the 5 by 7 which I folded in thirds. Thirds. You've seen me with those yeah. around. Yeah. And that I... When I'm organized, I write every single phone number on it that I do all day long. And it, it's, it, it's simply done, and it, every once in a while it saves the day. Mm -hmm. well, you see, the funny thing is, I remember um, my, my friend's father had a, an accounting business, and when we were at school, he used to pay us £20, which was a massive amount of money, and totally and utterly overwaged for what we were doing, because all we used to do was answer the phone and giggle. Um, not very professional. So when we were about 16, he used to pay us $20, £20 on a Saturday if we sat in the office that and asked for money. It was a lot of money, considering this would have been the 80s, right? And uh, I can still remember when he said, here, this is for you. I was like, oh my goodness, how exciting. So um, he used to have, you know, the, the index card boxes, the wooden boxes? Yeah. So you would have the month and things that were happening for a month. And then you'd have... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it was such an efficient little little system. Just yeah. you know, you put to the front, to the back. To the, well, I can't even remember which way you put it, but it was super. Yeah. So I, I think I always liked the organisation of that whole little card system. That that top drawer of mine over yeah. there, but it got full. Yeah, that's probably where your tooth bits are. Yeah, right. Yeah, you do know. Oh. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I was saying, I, I was uh, going to tell you. Yeah, we, the first time that Carly and I went out to do a, a nursing home job, we lucked out. We got um, we got donuts. Did you? Yeah, about 12. We didn't eat all sometimes. 12 at the one time. Some, sometimes. Sometimes I get coffee. <laughs> we didn't get coffee, but we got a lot of donuts. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, was very, that was very exciting. I just let that, we all let that be known a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and a biscuit. Uh, right, well, you know, Nancy, that's an interesting question because I think I do know who the father, if Harley is pregnant, I think I know who the father is. And yeah. it's, Char it's Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, the small grey donkey. Oh. He's a mini. He's a tiny, tiny mini. He's about her size. And, um, yeah. You know who the father is? Yeah, Charlie. The oh. small mini on Merida. Really? Yeah, he's rampant. Well, he was rampant until we... Um, Nipped him? Yes. Is he better behaved now? Absolutely not. Now, he's, now he is mounting the male donkeys in the paddock. Oh, dear. Yeah. So he's not really improved any. Um, but we're hoping once the testosterone starts leaving his body, he will yeah. chill out and then we'll bring him here. Maybe. Okay. Well, only if we get to that stage. We might not get to that stage because he's a bit wild, honestly. And he looks like that. You know, my 42 year old stud donkey, mm -hmm. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. We think he had a heart attack trying to breed Mary <laughs> because he died. Well, was he not a mini? He was a mini. And was she not a mammoth? Yeah. Oh, no wonder. I know. We should have provided the step Every ladder. Every while he try <laughs> at the age of 42. You must remind me. That's, it, that's him up there. At the front? The, yeah, he's the left leader. Right, you must remind me because I've got a lady that's asking me for a picture of that. Have you got a photograph of you with your eight hitch? I do. I have a few, a few pictures. Do you know yeah. where they are? 
on my computer. Oh, that's good. Would you send me a cup of water? I don't know how, but I will try. Okay, excellent. Um, the, so one in, the one in, uh, in Newburyport is, is the one that, that was when I was hauling Bush, Clinton, and Perot. Right. It was that year that they were all running for right. the presidency. Um, and the, the last, the fourth wagon back said they're all full of shit. And I had a bucket back there. But at any rate, the picture of the, uh, uh, has Timmy out front uh -huh. without a, without but, a strap on him. He just wandered around. Excellent. So she wants the picture for a flyer she's making up. Yeah. So that would be very handy if you could do oh, that. Yeah. That's perfect. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Maybe you could train a new dog for Bella when George retires. Is Bella not moving on without a dog? She is doing very well. Yeah. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I had thought of her with Jiminy. Uh huh. Because he would have been perfect with her. Yeah. Um, but she hasn't shown. No. She's maybe going to. It's, it's very tough because you're trying to. You can't really give up George. I mean, he'd stay there with the family. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a very odd situation to be in. I have a feeling she may move on without a service dog. I don't know. Mm. But he certainly has changed her life. I mean, yeah. she was destined for a wheelchair. Yeah. No, Elmo is not the father. Then we'd be getting a mule, and I love mules. <laughs> Janine would not be happy, though. I'd get, in, I'd get into trouble. <laughs> Oh dear. I've no idea why the lights are being turned off for the donkeys. And in fact, it definitely isn't out of choice because if we've got Miss Harley Barley down there, I'd like to know what she's up to overnight. Um, I do have Dr. Parrot coming out next week. Um, he's going to do rabies injections and, um, and he'll have a wee look at Harley as well in case she's just fat. Because if she's fat, she's got problems because it will be a restricted grazing muzzle for that one. But it's I don't old. know. No. So, a pretty big donkey. Yeah, I have asked Carly. One of the lights is out in the very back, you know, in the tack area. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've sent Carly down with light bulbs to see whether or not um, maybe the, the lights were put in at the same time and they've just blown around about the same time. Either that, it's a light switch problem, and we'll sort that out. Well, look at my desk. What did you do? Well, well, I think you've broken it. <laughs> <laughs> My desk light has tried to commit suicide. Why? It just spit out the ball. Yeah. That's, there's <laughs> no use. There. Yeah, there's no use that. It doesn't work at all like that. <laughs> I gotta mm. get it fixed. Mm. That was Sheila's light. She was throwing it out. And I rewired it and I made it a light, regular light. And then you broke it. And then I broke it. Well, you'll need to get back on it then. I know. i got to fix it. Yes, you could do a swing where people sit in front of each other. Um, what? Well, they sit probably like riding a horse, maybe. I don't know. I've never really seen those. What are we doing here? We're talking about the swing. I think it might be nice having the swing going out over the pond. That would be interesting, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be very interesting if you fell off. Well, that, that swing that we had down there, it was taller. Did it sink? No, we cut it off. Oh. We cut off four feet. What did you do with it that height? It was, it, well, it was a little hippy, we decided. Oh, yeah. If we, got, if we got too many heavy people on that thing, it might oh, oh. have a tippy problem. So we cut off four feet. And the four feet are around someplace, it's, you know, that green pipe. But it, it's all put together. I mean, it, it totally comes apart. The only part that we need all the welding is this, the, at the top. Ugh, how do we do this? Like that? Yeah, the A-frame part. There's a piece. There's a piece. It's not much bigger than like that. The three pieces of the pipe all welded together, and then you just put long pieces <gasps> of the pipe in it. Do you know what? What? Our, one of our board members, Pam. Her, um, her, um... Partner? Heels of wells. 
he does weld. That's what's well, actually his, his occupation, so he's good at it. Um, and uh, copy I bet you, if we asked him, he may help us. Yeah. He's the one that fixed the big trailer. Oh, really? Yeah, he repaired it. Huh. Yeah. Um, and he does a lovely job because after he's made the repair, he then spray paints it the same colour. I was like, I was just going to leave it. Speaking of spray paint, somebody has spray painted the front end of my donkey trailer. So I can't tell the size of the ball. The ball. Spray right? painted it with what? White. Just so I can back up to it. All right, okay. It's the correct thing, but it covers up the sign that says what size the ball is. Oh. Uh-oh, we're in the corner. He's digging up the hole again. Oi! What you doing? He's getting the blankets off the hole in the corner. But they have a lot of work to do over there. They work at it constantly. Oh, no. He's such a dedicated dog. Oi! What you doing? So He's busy. Silly. He's very busy. Yes, we have checked the rescue groups and um and to my knowledge I haven't seen any puppies um in the Great Dane area. Uh it it's it's quite tricky. And the other thing is, if you're going in with Sandy, Sandy will want a specific a dog that will grow to a specific size. Sandy. Sandy and the dog. Puppy. Yes. We were talking about that yesterday. Maybe if we get two puppies in, you'd maybe train one for Sandy. Oh, yes, yeah. So um, we yeah. might actually have, um, be, be, being a, more, a bit more uh, specific in, in what we're looking for if we've got Sandy in mind as well. But Sandy's problem. She is walking around with the two, two. like these two, looking at you. I wish some newspaper would pick up that story. I know. It really is a pretty I think, good one. I think they did an interview with her somewhere. Yeah, they did, but that's not national news. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty funny story. Yeah, it is. And now. she's pretty funny. And now the bars she goes to have to be piano bars, because there's two of them under it. <laughs> I don't know. Were we allowed to say how the pond came about? Is it above board? <laughs> yeah, we had ponds here. There's a stream that runs through. Through it. It is. Yeah. And uh, it, in fact, you've got your overflow pond. Right. And an island. Of and an island. Sort of. But it seems like it's sinking. Well, no. That's the fact that that all has to do with the height of this pipe and stuff out the back of the side. Yeah. And no, we didn't bring the turtles in. They come themselves. They're not They're invited. Turkeys. Yeah. They, I think, come out of the hood pond. I, if I catch one, I throw it back in the hood pond. <laughs> I tell you, Janine and I, Janine and I were coming uh, back here from Boxford, from Boxford one day, and uh, it, it must have been during the egg laying season. And the turtles, you know, they're all over. The Boxford's full of ponds, obviously, and the turtles are like, ambling across the road, not a care in the world, you know. And Janine's like, turtle! And she said, oh, I've already done one today. I went, well, I'll get out this time. And she said, there's a bucket in the back. And I went, well, what do you want the bucket for? And she went, because they wee on you. And I, and I picked it. And I, so I picked it up and I put it on the other side of the road at the pond because it was pointing in that direction. I said, Janine, it's just the water from wherever they've been. It's in their shell. If you shake them, it comes out. And she's like, is it not wee? And I'm like, well, not that I'm aware of. It could be we, but I've always taken it that it's just water. <laughs> so anyway, okay. so she's either covered in turtle wee or water. No idea. So you see, this is a funny thing, um, Barbara. And she said that Harley had a difficult time giving birth to Flossie. So I spoke to the vet and I've spoken to other people and I think it was Flossie had a diff difficult time because there was a problem getting the placenta cord and um, the umbilical to um, to shut off. So they had a bleeding problem but I think, hey, boop, up. I think according to Dr. Parrott, Harley had been fine. Um, it wasn't a problem with Harley, it was Flossie. The problem with Harley is she was in such poor shape when she had that baby. Yeah that the baby was fine and she was in tough shape. Yeah, but she came in in a mess. Huh? She came in in a mess. Oh, she came in a mess. Yeah, yeah. we saw. <clears throat> so that all her muscles and all had just had given way. And the baby was just hanging off the bottom of her. Yeah. 
we sew. And she's never ever, the one thing about Harley is she never ever uh, re regains her shape because I think her muscles, I think, yeah. I think the suggestion um, when I spoke to Dr. Parrott was that she's probably been used as a brood donkey and the muscles will never come into shape. So we, we don't get overly upset when she looks like she's a bit tubby. Yeah, I mean, it's just she's not done her sit-ups in a long time. Pointless to worry about it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, Elaine, we didn't actually move Princess. We moved the donkeys and couldn't leave Princess by herself. So, um, so at which point Princess, as I think everybody has to listen to me moaning about all my blinking mares on Meredith, who are all hogging paddocks to themselves, is in her own private paddock with Enzo who thinks the, the sun rises and sets with her. It's awful. I'm devastated. Um, so that's why she's not across the road, because uh, there's a natural spring in that paddock and it gets a bit muddy, and it is muddy. why you don't let me get her dressed up at her work. Who? Princess? Yeah. Because she's a bit free and easy with her feet. Really? Uh, front and back, yes. Really? Uh -huh. She's a stinker. Yes, you certainly do train remarkable service dogs. I do. Well, we have no idea if the barn lights will be on because we don't know whether or not it's a blown bulb, So, but we'll sort it out. And Jiminy is in a dinner coma. He what? He's in a dinner coma. I hope he's not had too much Parmesan cheese. That's <laughs> spoiling him. You did hear he wouldn't eat his dinner unless he had the Parmesan cheese on it. Yes, I did. Yeah. I wonder who started that nonsense. With the sizzle. Sizzle, was it? It was, I'm sure. That's so funny. Then we ended up putting it on everybody's and now we're stuck with it. We go through a lot of parking. Oh, I can imagine. I don't know. Oh, that's lovely. They're planning a visit this weekend if you're free. Who? Jiminy and Elena. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, it will be free. We'll try and get Janine's bed clean. Janine had a nice thick uh, rug Oh, the, the grey one? Yes, the grey one's around someplace. I think it's hanging on the fence outside. Oh, we'll get it cleaned then. Yes. We'll try and get it dried up. Yeah. Alright. Oh! Poi is Hawaiian food, like a paste. Huh? The, the poi that poi. they make from this taro is a Hawaiian food, like a paste. Huh. I wonder okay. what they do with it. What do they do with it? That's what we need to know. Just in case we're missing out on a food group. I don't think I'm missing out on too much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll we'll make sure that that's that them um, Jiminy and Larky are not having a, a round two. Oh. Right. Uh, no. Oh. Are you handing out your business cards? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, a few of them. And is Judy cursing you because you put her phone number on him? Judy's got those on her own. She was <laughs> she was going to put a stamp over them and put her uh, email address. Her email, yeah, that's good. But they're wonderful. Yes. Barbara, we, we, we take very good care of, of Harley, not only because she's a bit of a, a barn favourite, but because she's a wee bit of a single Pringle is our Harley. She likes just hanging out with people by yeah, herself. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's she, had her in the nursing home, haven't we? Yeah. She's a really good wee donkey. She Nothing phases her. She just uh, yeah. she just won, won, wanders on. And it's funny, she doesn't really bother. Yeah, good luck finding the green pieces of pipe. I think we might be starting again because we're not going to do anything with four inches of, what was it, four foot of pipe. That would yeah. be a really micro swing. Yeah, We no, could do well, a, a foot rest. Right. No, you couldn't take you use that pipe for the... A bit up the top. Yeah, you just yeah. need this, these triangular pieces. So do you just do the, the two long down bits and then a short crossbar and weld it? No, what you need to weld are the... Two pieces like that and one piece like that. Right, okay, so it's, it's where the, the two bits meet. And that's what yeah. you slide these other pipes into. Right, okay. 
And that's why you could have an adjustable height. <laughs> but so we could have another swing though, because there it is. Yeah. They can't see it, but it's, it's another piece in, of scaffolding. It's up in the rafters. It's like the henny penny board, but down a bit. <laughs> And I'm not getting hit in the head with that when it comes down. That, that much I can tell you. Thing. Yes. I think, in all honesty, we've got plans to illuminate the, the barn a bit differently um, because the the lighting um, Lincoln stalls out, so it's always quite dark. So I think you know those ones that had the hands that came out, that those LED lights. We might get something similar to that just so we can actually no. know. No, you're going to get one that's got a basket on it. You want one with a basket on it? Yeah, because he, he, these tall horses you're bringing yeah. in. So we just need to be able to see because it's quite dull. Yeah, well, you've got to... We have some. Go find them. Go find them, right. I think we need to go up into the attic because I think there's a hit. Because the, the, the mat grippers that came off, they were in the first um, wish list and they came in and I know they went down to the barn. I'm pretty sure... And, I, and we're looking for them at the moment because we actually have some mats in. And, and I think Carly thinks it's up the ladder. I'm not going up the ladder because you know me. It's a nice ladder. It's a beautiful ladder, but not when you've got vertigo and you go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I think it was Carly had to help me. Do Last time I went up the ladder, she had to help me back down. No. Uh -huh. oh dear. I feel like I'm keeling forward in the hole. Oh, dear. <laughs> no. That's a nice ladder. Yeah, it is a nice. Speaking of speaking of being strange about stuff like that, mm. Judy is claustrophobic. I didn't realize this entirely, but she cannot be in a building if she cannot see a window or something outside. How does she manage in the elevators? The elevator is fine because it goes away, but in yeah. the in the in the whole building, uh -huh. she's got to locate the outside. It's like her finally fire exit. Yeah. We had that problem down at Leahy Hospital. Yes. Because at the hospital down there in Burlington, you enter on the fourth floor or something. Uh huh. And then you go down a couple of floors. Oh. And you can't see yeah. out all the places. And no. she had a, she had a heart attack over it. Yeah. That's quite <clears throat> debilitating, isn't it? It it is very strange. Mm. Yeah, we've got those donkeys on a walking program. Just don't tell them. I'm going to start oh, You're with... right. That would be a good place for the swing. Yeah. Be nice. Oh. The reason we don't want the turtles in the pond is because they eat the wildlife. They do. They're quite obnoxious, actually. There'll be no swimming in the pond while we've got turtles. No. I don't think we could... We can't drain that. No, no, just take all the branches and there's a lot of leaves, you know, that have sunk to the bottom. I was just thinking we could rake it out and just get Good rid luck. of it. Yeah, I know. Good luck. I'm obviously using the royal we as in me and a few friends. Well, no, you'd you, you need a massive. Would you? Oh, digger. Right, okay. And it would make a hell of a mess. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're after we're after six o'clock. Oh good grief, we're after six o'clock. Yeah, it the, is six o'clock. I will sort the goats out. I think um, I think Harley will be okay. She'll deal with the goats if she's got a problem. Oh dear. Ooh, right. Okay, good night. That says we're done. Nice. It's Thursday tomorrow, isn't it? What? Thursday tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday tomorrow. Yeah. I go check. I go check my desk calendar now. Okay. <laughs> now I'm organised. Night, night. <laughs>